Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we are on one of my grazing herds and we found this foot right here. And it doesn't take long to figure out what the problem is. And yes, you guessed it, there's a defect high in that white line and some small stones have found their way up into that defect. And you all know exactly what we have to do now. That's right, we need to remove this loose horn. I get questions quite a bit asking, how do the cattle react to your equipment? Are they afraid of it? As you can see here, they're not afraid whatsoever. In fact, they're very curious. One of their favorite things to do is sniff and lick all of my equipment and pull my grinders on the ground until they get bored then they head back out to pasture. This one here, well, we're not gonna milk that one. And now back to our cow from today. Let's finish cleaning up this white line and get her back to her herd. When we're removing loose horn, we gotta remember we only wanna remove what we can safely. We don't wanna take off too much of this outside wall and we don't wanna take away anything that's still attached. From this angle, looking at that outside wall, it may look like I should remove more of that. When we do this close up here in a minute, you'll see that it's still attached. And of course, right on cue, as if she knows what I'm trying to do, she moves her foot when I'm trying to set that block. Luckily, I had enough time, got it in place without any problems. So we zoom in here, you can see that outside wall in this area there, it's still attached. I don't wanna keep cutting any more of that. That's a perfect spot to stop. Now all I gotta do is clean up all around the edges a little bit better, and then clean that really well up above. You should be ready for a wrap. Now you might also be wondering, why not remove that entire sole and make it one level completely flat all the way across right now? The reason I don't do that is because sometimes those rubber blocks that we put on there, they fall off. And like I've shown in other videos, when a cow takes a step, it's that outside claw that makes contact with the ground first and specifically that heel area. So if we remove all of that and that block does come off, she will be putting pressure directly on that open area. We don't want that to happen. So that's why I leave that on there. We can always check that later at the, at the, uh, at the recheck or the follow-up and take that off then. And this girl is ready to go. Get this foot down, let her out. And you're gonna see, just like a kitty, gets something stuck to its paw. She tries to get it off, but she can't. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.